In this video, we're going to tackle kinematic body and sliding on slopes. OK, so we've got an ordinary kinematic body here with pretty generic movement. We got jumping and controls. And we're using move and slide to do the movement. And everything is fine, but of course, when we go on a slope, we're going to see that we slide down. And this is actually move and slide doing what it's supposed to do, right? Our downward velocity that gravity is pulling us straight downwards is being slid along the surface. And that's what move and slide is supposed to do. So if you look at the kinematic body documentation, we'll see that move and slide has a parameter called stop on slope that's false by default. So let's go ahead and change that to true. So instead of just doing move and slide with our velocity and our up vector, we're going to do our velocity, our up vector, and then we're going to set stop on slope to true. So what does that look like? Now when I go on the slope, no sliding. And you can see it go over here on the steeper one. Right? We're not sliding on the slope at all. Uh, we can still jump fine on the slope. However, if we do go to a really steep slope like this, we're going to slide down. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. But you can see we're already pretty much getting what we want. But there is a small problem, which is really hard to see in this example because my gravity is kind of high, uh, which I wanted for good jumping. But let's, let's make the gravity really low, uh, just so you can see this problem a little bit better. So with a really low gravity, when I run up this slope, you're going to see a little hop. You see that? So when I stop moving, or when I stop my input, my velocity vector is being slid along the slope, right? So it has a forward component and an upward component. And the forward component stops, but there's still some upward momentum, and that gets translated into this little bounce. And it looks a little odd. You also get a little bit of a jump when you go off the slope. And we don't want that either. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to switch to move and slide with snap. And so we're going to get our snap vector, and it's just going to be pointing straight down. Now, because I have jumping, if we always had a downward snap vector, then we'd never be able to jump because we'd be snapped to the ground no matter what. So if we're not jumping, we're going to be snapped to the ground. But if we're jumping, we're going to have a zero snap vector. So move and slide with snap, we have our velocity, our snap vector, our up vector, and again, stop on slope is true. And you'll see that will get rid of the little jump that we were having. Right? No more little jump when I stop moving. Okay? So now everything is pretty good, although my gravity is super low now. Uh, so now everything is pretty good, but you'll see we still, of course, have the problem over here. We've got, <laughs> it de definitely jumps and it slides and this slope is not working right. Why is that? Well, the reason for that is that move and slide with snap is not considering this to be a slope because the default value for max floor angle is 45 degrees. And so that means consider anything that's 45 degrees or less to be ground and you should stand on it. Anything above that should be considered a wall. So this is considered a sloped wall, not the ground. So it's not being snapped to. So what we want to do is, to fix that, if you want to have really steep slopes, is change your move and slide with snap to also include floor max angle. And see, I've made it 52 degrees because that's the angle of the slope that I made for this example. And now this steep slope acts just the way we want it and I can still jump on it and all that kind of stuff. Okay, So hopefully this helps you out with some of your problems you're having with kinematic bodies in 3D. Post below if you have any questions and I'll see you in a future video.